A couple of days ago, I posted a story asking my followers to send me their job title, the industry that they work in, the number of years of experience they have in the industry, and how much money they make per month. Yep. To my surprise, I've gotten over 50 responses, so today we are gonna read them out one by one. Conversations around money need to be a little bit more transparent, so I'm super happy to be making this video. Before we get started, this is your reminder to subscribe to my channel, watch the video and let me know if you've enjoyed it. Okay, I'm really excited, so let's get started. So the first response that we've got is leasing manager, landlord, 34,000 per month, 11 years in the industry. And some of the benefits that he gets include flight ticket for family, phone allowance, full medical, entertainer app, plus other discounts within the company portfolio and a yearly bonus. So he would definitely have to be over the age of 30. Let's be honest, it's pretty good. Moving on to the next one. Interior design head, 4,000 dirhams, no benefits, 23 years old. That kind of doesn't match up considering the role or considering the name of the title, but it could be a startup, it could be a very new company. So yeah, I work in finance department and I get 13.5 with just two years of experience. So 13,500 two years of experience, I don't think that's bad at all. I do think it's a pretty good starting salary. Next one, we have someone from the healthcare industry, senior nuclear medicine technologist, that's the title. Five years experience in the industry, 21, thousand dirhams per month. Benefits include insurance, paid annual leave, flight tickets. 28 years old. I work as a procurement executive at Fit Movers in Dubai. Oh, I can easily find this person. I get 5,000 dirhams plus a car. Oh, okay. I did find the person. FNB manufacturing, finance business partner, 15,000 per month. Yearly bonus is 30,000. Flight ticket, health insurance, petrol allowance, phone and bill allowance, international minutes. 25 years old, commercial finance role. I work in the e-commerce industry as a product risk specialist. Overall, I have just two years of experience. I get a basic salary of 46,000 euros per annum, joining bonus of 20,000 euros, relocation of 10,000 euros, shares worth 35,000 euros. Let's actually calculate that. 46,183 divided by 12. 15,250 dirhams. But the bonuses are insane, which is... Wait, what? I don't believe this. How do you get a joining bonus of 20,000 euros and shares worth 35,000 euros? Okay, first things first, who are you? Second thing, are you a man? Are you a woman? Third thing, are you single? Do you see yourself getting married? What kind of women are you looking for? Damn, I'm actually really shocked. What the hell? A joining bonus of 20,000 euros, 80,000 dirhams? Like, I'm actually really, really shocked. Next one looks good, okay? Same question, what's your relationship status? This person's also mentioned the company name, which I don't want to reveal just for security purposes. Position is Senior Risk Analyst, $120,000. Benefits, gym, tax filing reimbursements, internet, electricity, paid time off, sick time, paid parental leave, discounts on hotels, parks, rental cars. 26 year old. Whoever this person is, I'm turning 25 next month. You're turning 26. Age difference, perfect. $120,000, which is... 36,700 a month. Okay, I found out who the person is. <laughs> I must tell you, not bad looking at all. I'm texting my friend now saying, listen, I found a guy for you. That honestly is such a good position, such a good money for that age. Pleasantly surprised. I work in Dubai with the world's third largest communications agency and currently leading the social team. 22,000 dirhams a month with premium insurance, household allowance. I am 28. Wait, I think I have found out who this person is. I've got three years of social media marketing experience. I specialize in content and community management. Worked at an ad agency in Dubai that paid me 5,000 a month with absolutely no benefits. Yeah, get out. 5,000 a month with no benefits, no. Senior accountant, 13,500 a year. Benefits include a normal insurance and 33 days of annual leave, but no public holidays. Publishing industry, graphic designer, eight to nine years experience. Salary is 8,000, although I'm aware it should be 12 plus at least. Benefits include flight ticket and age is 29. I also think I know who this is. Senior account executive in an agency earning 12,000 a month. This person has not really mentioned any additional benefits. I work in the e-commerce industry in Dubai, UAE. I earn 7,000 a month. Apart from my salary, I get medical insurance, which covers dental and optical too. I'm a content and social media specialist for a tech company, 120,000 dirhams per annum, which is 10,000 dirhams a month. 
But the real question is, how much do you make? Mm -hmm. Associate in the wealth management industry, 24 years old, 14,000 dirhams, biannual bonus of 15 to 20,000. 15 to 20,000 biannual bonus, 40,000 a year. Jesus. Aviation industry, position is business delivery officer or business operations slash project management work. Nine months of experience, 30,300 euros per annum, 11,500 dirhams a month. Work-life balance, healthcare, masters get funded, lots of learning opportunities and great pay. Industry is fintech, position is mid-level software engineer. Salary is 25,000 a year, air ticket and yearly bonus. So you get a yearly bonus over the 25,000 dirhams you make per month. Wow, that's a pretty good amount to make per month. What's actually interesting about this person is the fact that this person lives a very simple life and which I find very funny considering the fact that people that work in like fashion or people that work in, you know, the fancier or the more glamorous industries, they like their life looks a lot glamorous, but the actual income that they get is quite lower. But then there are people like this who work in tech or work in like the software engineer or finance or all those things, which they live such a simple life, but then the kind of money they rake in per month insane analytics specialist salary is 40000 dirhams a month other benefits wait 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 commission is an average of 100000 dirhams every quarter wait bullshit i don't shut up you wait you make 40000 a year and you make a commission which averages at 100000 every quarter which is 400 no i so you make the so you make 40000 plus 33000 which is like 70000 a month i don't know if i should believe this and also housing is 165000 a year i'm still stuck on the commission a commission of 100000 dirhams what are you saying what's your name 31 is a bit old for me but maybe we can make it work mostly technical with sales targets uae is the main market my head's actually spinning a little bit reading these numbers I need a water break to recover from this. Wow. Moving on. I work at a digital agency in Dubai, earning 17,000 per month as a videographer and editor. That's a pretty good amount because I think videography and photography jobs in the UAE don't actually pay that much even if the company cannot survive without you. The next one that I'm going to say is one of the most shocking ones. I'm a freelance videographer and photographer here in the UAE. During the start of my career, I used to make a good 10 to 15,000 per month freelancing. But over time, as my network and skills improved, I make a minimum of 50 to 70,000 per month even during the summers. Water break. Fifty to 70,000 a month. I think I know who this is. Um, honestly, 50 to 70,000, I don't know if I believe it, but also there's no reason for this person to lie. Let's assume that he works two weeks in a month, close to 3,500 per shoot, which I think is very possible. That is sort of the starting day rate for a photographer here in Dubai. 50,000 a month. <gasps> so bloody, so bloody impressed. Influencer, marketing campaign manager, two years of work experience and salary is 10,000 dirhams a month. Associate talent acquisition, I think that's what it is. Zero when I started, currently it's one including internship. Salary is dirhams 7,500 and this person is 21 years old. Honestly, I think that's a pretty good amount to start with. Senior account executive, 10,000 dirhams per month. Bonus of approximately 10,000 dirhams. Work hours range from eight to 16 hours per day. Oh, actually that's pretty normal considering you're in advertising. And, woo, Jesus, I just need to take a short break after this. So key takeaways, IT, software engineers, fintech, all the tech stuff, insane. There was actually one person that replied to my story as well and had asked if I think conversations related to salary needs to be transparent the way that I'm doing it on my stories. And my unpopular opinion is no, I do not think it needs to be transparent. I don't think we all need to be knowing how much our colleagues make. And that's purely because people can take money very personally. And I think if we all always at every point knew how much every single person makes, I think it would lead to a lot of unhealthy conversations. That being said, I do believe that it is very, very important, which no one does in Dubai. I think you need to have a salary range for each position communicated to your employees right when they join. You should be able to know the different tiers in your company and the different salary ranges that come within each promotion. That's something that no companies in Dubai do, which I think is mandatory, not just because you owe your employees that kind of transparency, but it's also because it gives your employees a clear path 
if you don't know what's happening next year, if you don't know what's happening three years from now, that makes it so hard for you to kind of work hard. You know what I mean? In that way, yeah. Salary range, important to know. Complete transparency, no. With that, we've come to an end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to start posting more such videos where we discuss salaries, but maybe for different industries, let me know and I will get to that. So what I can do then is reach out to people working for multiple industries and get hopefully an average salary range for different positions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel, please.